This is the sixth video in an eight-part series about my new woodworking workbench, which I've equipped with a table saw and a router table. Today I'm going to show you how to make and use this outfeed folding table. The main idea that led me to designing and making the outfit folding table is being able to put the bench by the wall so that it will take up as little space as possible when I'm not using it. And at the same time, being able to open it to achieve a larger work surface so that I can cut and mill large work pieces whenever it's necessary. When it's against the wall, the workbench is about 70 centimeters deep and 180 centimeters long. Thanks to its wheels, I can move the bench to the desired location, and its six leveling casters allow me to lock it and level it quite easily. I've used three folding shelf brackets, the kind used to make folding kitchen tables. They're fairly robust, enough for these kinds of projects. They're also easy to activate and deactivate. Once open, I have to install the blast gate box and connect the two pipes to the saw and the flange adapter in the recess for the router. I can fold the table without the need to detach the box, but not all the way. Just enough to mill and cut whenever it's more comfortable to not have it open. To put the bench away by the wall so that it takes up as little space as possible, I'll have to remove the blast gate box, but as you've seen, this is a very easy and simple step. I've left a gap between the table and the back of the bench so that I can use the fence that comes with the table saw. Another important consideration is how to remove the saw fence. This fence model has a lever to secure it to the saw. To activate and deactivate the lever, I have to fold the table for a moment. Another option would be to make a recess somewhere on the table so that the lever can be activated. In my case, I'm not going to make this recess because I'm planning on making a new fence that I can use with this table saw and workbench. The fences that come with these bench saws are highly precise, but not very robust. Whenever you want to cut large or heavy work pieces, the fence can easily move when pushing it, even when locked. Besides, it has a small support surface in the entry and exit points of the cut. Another advantage of this new fence is that I can bring the top of this folding table closer to the back of the bench and get rid of that gap. I'm going to make a few cuts to see the table in action. With medium sized work pieces, I now have extra support on the exit point of the cut. This makes it easier to finish the cut more accurately, without worrying about the piece tilting due to not having enough support. Of course, with larger boards, it also helps having more support on the end. Now I'm going to open the side folding table to make some cuts with the sliding carriage. This little extra support will also be quite useful on the exit point of the cut. Finally, I'm going to show you how to use this extension table while using the router table. First off, I'll install the router fence and mill a piece of MDF. This table will give me a larger surface to work comfortably with larger work pieces. I'm planning to make another extension table for the front of the bench which will let me obtain enough support for the work pieces at the exit point of the cuts.
The grooves I made in the extension table will allow me to use the miter gauge in the table router and also with the saw table. Now I'll show you how to make and install this outfeed folding table. First, I'll use the table saw to cut to size all the parts required to make the lower table frame. I mark the positions of all the holes for the screws and drill them with a column drill and a countersink drill bit. To put the frame parts together, I'll use this old jig I made some time ago to assemble drawers. I'll use the already drilled parts as a jig for the rest of the parts. I apply some wood glue and place the screws. I'm going to screw these other pieces on horizontally, using some wood glue as well. These parts will allow me to screw the table to the frame. It's important that the entire upper part of the frame is level if we want to have a smooth and firm table, but it's not so essential on the bottom. If some pieces are higher than others, we can leave that difference on the bottom of the frame. Now I'll cut the two parts that will make up the bench top. With a plunge router, I'll make the extension grooves for the miter channels of the router table and the bench table saw. I'll finish the job with a router plane. It's time to screw on the folding shelf brackets to the bench. I'm going to screw the first one on following the plans. I draw a line for reference and position the bracket to mark the hole for the screws. I use a wood block as a jig to drill the hole straight on. Using a round file, I'm going to elongate the holes for the bolts in the brackets in both directions. This will make it possible to adjust the table's height once the job is done. A few millimeters on each side should suffice. Now I screw the first bracket onto the bench. I'll only use one of the three bolts for now. I measured the frame to work out the position of the other two brackets. I drill the holes and screw the brackets on like before. 
I'm going to place the frame on the brackets to mark a rabbit so that I can use the saw as lighting carriage. I make the rabbit with the router table. Two or three millimeters is enough. I've cut two plywood pieces which I'll use as a jig to screw the frame to the brackets at the required height. I finish placing the other two screws per bracket. I'm going to lift them a little loose for now. I'm also going to screw these two parts which together make up the top. If you're only going to use one board you can obviously skip this step. I have to trim down the bench top by a few millimeters and now I can screw it in place. First I'll try to work out its position by making sure the grooves are in line with the router table and table saw miter channels. I clamp down the top and screw it to the frame. Now all that's left is to make sure the table is level and at the same height as the rest of the bench tops. I have to lower it a little, which I'll do by hammering the top of the brackets using also a wood block. <laughs> 